Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Read. Today I'm going to be doing the Reading Diversely tag. This was created by Holly and I was tagged by her as well. Basically all you do is you go through the six continents and you just recommend a book that you have read from every continent and then you list a book that you are interested in reading from every continent. I've been watching everyone's videos that have put them up already and I'm really enjoying it because everyone's really talking about different books which I thoroughly enjoy and I've already added a bunch to my TBR. Also just so you guys know this tag isn't meant to like shame people or make people feel bad about the books that they haven't read or like their own lack of diversity. It's really just to have a conversation about these are potential books that you could be reading if you are interested in increasing your diversity and reading books from other countries and things like that. So I'm going to start off easy and start with my home continent. That sounds weird to say, uh, with North America. And so there's two books I'm going to recommend. The first one is The Book of Unknown Americans by Christina Henriquez. I read this earlier this year and it was absolutely fabulous. I will have a link in the description to the review I did of this book if you want a more in-depth talk about what this is about. In this book you are following a couple families who have immigrated into the United States from Central America and South America. And I like this book because it talks a lot about the diversity of the Hispanics that are in the United States. Not everyone just comes from Mexico and not everyone from Central America and South America have like the same ideas or traditions or you know anything like that like they're all their own unique ethnicity and they all deserve to be highlighted so I definitely recommend this book I know a couple of you guys have already picked it up based on my recommendation which I loved and you guys loved it as well so I definitely recommend this and then I'm going to cheat and do a second book and I'm probably going to be doing that a couple of times just so you guys know and I'm also going to recommend The Warmth of Other Suns by Isabel Wilkerson this is a nonfiction book and it's a bit of a chunker but it's totally worth the read. Basically you are following the history of black Americans in the south from about the 1915 to 1970 and it basically just talks about how black Americans from the south migrated to different parts of America, specifically northern states, northern metropolitans, and California. And it actually talks a lot about the history of like how you can track that if you live in this certain city you were descendants probably came from this specific state um, just because of the way the train lines worked and things like that which I think was really interesting. This is an aspect of American history that is very rarely talked about. In fact I don't think it's ever really talked about. Um, I mentioned this in one of my other videos I think when I was talking about I know why the cage bird sings but I feel like this period of black history is very much ignored because people sort of just assume that black people did nothing after slavery but before the civil rights movement <laughs> like they disappear from United States history for that entire period which is so ridiculous so this book is a really great filler in terms of like providing you with some information about that time period and then in terms of a book I am excited to read I have What We All Long For by Diane Brand this is a Canadian book and a Canadian author and it follows this Vietnamese family that migrates to Canada in the 1970s I believe. I'm super excited to read this. I'm actually reading this along with Hello Hemlock. This isn't like one of their books of the month but I'm going to be providing some content in the month of December based around this book so I'm very excited to be doing that and I'm very excited to read this book. So this is a book that is for sure going to be read because I need to read it so I can write my stuff for their website. <laughs> Next we're going to go to South America and this is the one that was the hardest for me because I haven't really read that much South American literature. I read Love in the Time of Cholera a really long time ago but I like barely remember it and I don't even have a copy I don't think anymore. I was like searching my shelves for it but I don't have it. But I'm well aware of the fact that my South American literature is like nil. So I recently went to the library and I picked up Juan Pablo Villa Lobos is down the rabbit hole. I know that Vika over at One Book One Review recently reviewed this book and that's actually what brought it my, to my attention. I decided to pick this up and it's also a pretty short read and since I got it from the library I'm going to be reading it before it's due. So again, I have a book that will be read hopefully in November otherwise I'll redo it for another month. Next up I'm going to travel over to Europe and I am just going to recommend that you read Tana French. She is Irish and she places her books in Dublin so I think that is nice that it's European but it's not like England. But I don't know if that necessarily counts. Like I feel like a lot of my books that I read from Europe are UK based which again is another downfall. I don't know if you consider Russian literature to be European. I don't really understand how Russia works in the continent scheme of things. So I'm just going to say if 
if you want something Russian, definitely check out Crime and Punishment. I feel like that's a really good starter Russian novel. Another recommendation that I can provide is to read some short stories from like Gogol because that's definitely how I got into Russian literature. You know, short stories can be a lot easier because Russian literature tends to be really dense and have a lot of characters and all these characters have different names. So short stories might be a really smart way to go with Russian lit. And then in terms of what I want to read, I have a copy of N.W. by Zadie Smith. I'm sticking a picture in because the book is currently being used as my tripod. So <laughs> that's a book that I have had for like a year now and I still haven't read it yet and I really really want to just like I want to really really read all of these other books that I have. Yeah, that is my pick for European because she takes the idea of race and kind of twists it, I've heard, in this book. So I'm very excited to read that and experience that. And then for Africa, I'm going to recommend a comic strip or a graphic novel and that is Aya Life in Yap City by Marjorie Abue. I did a full review on this on my channel when I read it earlier. I think I read it in January this year. So I will link to that in the description as well so you guys can check that out. But this is a really great graphic novel that takes place on the Ivory Coast, which is a part of Africa that I personally know nothing about. I also really like this story because it basically takes place in Africa, but it doesn't like make it seem like super exotic. Like all of these people are seem super normal. Normal in the sense of like they're not that different from like you and me. Like the story is very exaggerated and very like dramatic and things like that but there's nothing really about this that makes it significantly different from a story that might take place in the Americas. Plus it's just like super fun and doesn't talk about like the tragedies of Africa or make everything seem like super depressing like this seems like a fun place to live and a cool cool place to visit and things like that which is not necessarily the feeling you get a lot of times when you read stories from Africa. And then of course for the book that I want to read from Africa Adichie. I still haven't read anything by her and I already own this one so I really need to read this because I want to and it's because <laughs> I know it's gonna be good. I know I'm going to like it. I just need to do it already. I need life to go on hold so I can read. And then for Asia, I am picking up How to Get Filthy Rich in Rising Asia by Mohsen Hamid. I read this in 2013 I believe and it was by far one of the best books I read that year. This book is told in second person which is really unique and really well done. Things like that usually feel very gimmicky but he pulls it off so well. And this takes place in an unknown Asian country but most people assume that it's supposed to be Pakistan because that's where Mohsen Hamid is from and it's very similarly described like the way the major city is described in this book is very similar to the way the major cities in Pakistan are. I also did a review of this book so that will be linked down below if you want more information on it but this is a really just really well done book. It's really short. It took me like a day to read because I was so engrossed in it. So if you're looking for something that's Asian that isn't like China or Japan which I know a lot of people read from and that's great but if you want something that's not from those two countries check this out. And then in terms of Asian authors that I want to read, I haven't read any Murakami at all, which is really surprising for me, but I'm really intimidated by him because I know everyone loves him. I feel like I need to read like Murakami in secret, like I need to like not post about it and not put it on Goodreads or anything like that and just experience him in like a bubble without like the outside pressures of everyone else loving him so I've been putting him off because I want to like get to a place where he's not super duper hyped up and I can just read it and experience it without feeling like I have to love it because everyone loves him. And then finally for the Australia, New Zealand, Oceania section of the world, the book I'm going to recommend is Jellicoe Road by Marlena Marchetta. This was such a good book. I believe I also read this in 2013 and I think I also did a review on that so again you can check that out but I adored it. This is a young adult novel and it takes place at a boarding school which is something that I absolutely love and this is one of those books where you just start reading it and at least personally I had no idea what was happening and then it takes you on such a crazy journey and oh it was just so good and I'm super excited because I want to read more of her books. I think in other countries it's also called On the Jellicoe Road so definitely just keep that in mind if you don't live in the United States but this was so good and if you haven't read a lot of things from Australia which I've seen a lot of people say in these videos that is a really good one to check out because it is young adult so it'll be a little bit of a faster read and even if you don't like young adult or are put off by that genre this is 
worth it like this one is so good and then the final book that I want to read from this area is Richard Flanagan's The Narrow Road to the Deep North I believe it's called it just won the Man Booker Prize for this year and I've heard really good things about it Katrina over at Little Book Owl recently read it and absolutely raved about it I'll link her review but a lot of people have been raving about that book especially since I recently won the Man Booker Prize but yeah those are all the books that I wanted to talk about feel free to leave some comments down below if you make videos do this tag I am tagging everyone just do this tag even if you don't have a lot of books to talk about I feel like it's important to just get the books that you do know talked about because a lot of times when we talk about reading diversely a lot of people are just like I don't know where to start so this is a really great way to get people started and to give people recommendations about books to try secondly if you don't make videos feel free to like just answer down below what some of your favorite I am going to say non North America and non European authors are unless you have some recommendations for like Eastern European authors I would love that so if you know Eastern European authors or if you know South American authors, I've asked for South American authors in the past and I sort of have a list going, but definitely Eastern European or Australian or New Zealand. Those are the areas that I can tell I need help with. So any recommendations in those areas, leave in the comment section. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.